I'm Fritz Nelson here at Mobile World Congress, and there's a lot of uh, mobile phones with camera innovation going on here. And one of the companies that has been at the forefront of a lot of innovations, they're in over a billion phones, is Scalato. And I'm talking with their CTO, Sammy Niemi. Um, what is, you guys are in over a billion phones. What, how come we don't know more about you? Well, we're not uh, branded in any of these phones. We're the, we're the people that make things possible on the phones. Like what, like what things? So, uh, for example, just the simplest things to just handle images really efficiently on a phone. The, the, you know, they've been pretty constrained, so in order to, to get really good performance, you have to think differently and handle, handle images more efficiently. One of the technologies that lets you do that is something that you call random access JPEGs. Can you explain what that is and kind of maybe show us an example? Yeah, so the technology itself uh, lets us access the information within a compressed JPEG image really, really efficiently. So we can just pull exactly the, amount, the pixels. If we want to show a small image on the screen, we just extract those pixels. If we want to zoom into an area, we extract only those pixels. And that allows us to run it maybe 20 times more efficiently than normally, in both in terms of memory and CPU. And also faster. Absolutely, absolutely, because we only you know, work on the pixels that are needed for a certain use case. Right, so let's see a couple, of, I know you've got a couple examples on this, uh, on this iPad here. Yeah. So here's an example uh, actually on a, this is a 200 megapixel image and we can just uh, zoom seamlessly into the picture and it's extracting exactly the pictures that are needed or the pixels that are needed. So that's really cool and imagine if you, if you have uh, multiple of these. Then, then we also want to solve those problems by, by just, uh, let me show another one. And, and so that in that picture, it wasn't decompressing everything. It was just the stuff that was on the screen at that moment. Right, exactly the pixels that are needed for a use case. And that that's the same thing here. I open up 10,000 images just like that. So now there's 10,000 images that I can scroll through with perfect quality. So it really lets me uh, do exactly what I want to do with minimal uh, requirements. And this is just the beginning. This is really the technology. And this can be applied to millions of different use cases, especially within camera, when you capture multi multiple images where you want to really, really work efficiently. OK, well, we're, let's see. We, you've got a, some really cool applications, use cases that you called them here. Um, let's go take a look. All right, thanks. So I'm actually capturing a picture here. So what it did here was to capture multiple images and you see all the people are gone. So I, I can choose another background with people here, let's say this one. So you're putting them back in? Yeah, it, it's actually, it's capturing multiple shots here. So, uh, so you see, these are the shots that it captured and all these, all these shots have people. For example here, there's some, some guy here and it instantly takes it away. So it only keeps the parts of the picture where there's no moving objects. So you can get the clean view, although there was m multiple people passing by and there was in no, none of those shots was there a space where, where there was nobody there. So it, it's really combining the shots to, to get the perfect view. You can use the same technology for strobing or, or actually for uh, changing the timing of, uh, let's say, somebody's uh, smile. So you, maybe you don't like the smile of a person. Uh, it's, 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 the person is blinking. And what you can do is you just uh, zoom into the face of a person and kind of uh, rotate around and you get a smile from uh, maybe half a second earlier. And it per perfectly puts it back to the picture. So you get really the perfect result uh, in, in every time. Well, you mentioned strobe. Can we see that, can we see that in action? Sure. So I captured a shot of, of this, this film, and I used the start frame and uh, the end frame, and then it calculates uh, a burst sequence there. So you can see the, the guy jumping like that. So you see all these frames merged into one. And it automatically segments those, uh, those people and and gives a great shot. And you can save it. And the saving is uh, instant. 
and you can view and zoom into the uh, picture in uh, full resolution. So that's the that's the result. So here's a th these are some results that we would we're just uh, developing this uh, panorama application where you can take completely free panoramas, where you don't you, you're not just restricted to one direction, but you can actually do uh, uh, in pictures that cover the whole 360 degrees. So you can you can kind of move around and uh, and uh, and see really the the complete complete picture, and you're not restricted to any any sort of uh, direction. And that's pretty cool when you can actually do that with uh, full resolution. And because of the random access technology, again, we can keep all these uh, huge amounts, maybe 50 to 100 images in memory, and then just using them uh, to, to stitch this perfect uh, super resolution panorama that you can actually move around and uh, zoom into places. And because, because the panorama stuff has been around for a while, but it's just kind of this herky, it's not as smooth as that, and it certainly is very limited. Yeah. It's just, you know, from left to right, as, as broad as they can get it. This goes all the way around. Exactly, yeah, yeah, it's, it's completely spherical. So you just, uh, there you get nice guided uh, view on how, how to take the pictures, and, and the end result is really, really impressive. So. Now there's another version, uh, kind of, of that called the, the, the angle, or the 3D angle oh, yeah, version. Yeah. Can you yeah, show us let that? Me, let me do Let's do a fun thing here. You're going to take a picture of me, aren't you? Either I take a picture of you or the camera. Do you want a person or a... Uh, I think you should take it up the camera. Yeah, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah. So, so the viewers can see themselves. So, uh, so it's, not, it's not limited to, uh, to, to faces or, or people, but you can actually take a picture of, the, of something like a camera. So, so let me just start it up here. So it's based, on, oh, again, on multiple images. So you're sweeping your uh, device like this, and it's capturing multiple images. And, and by doing that, you actually get a uh, 3D version of the object. So now I'm actually tracking uh, the camera. I, I love how the cameraman gets out of the way. Yeah, <laughs> let's see, let's see. And uh, if we turn down a little bit here, well, now I can actually view the camera from multiple angles by just tilting the device. So, and the cameraman is in the picture. That's how he looks. So the idea here is that Scalato works with the phone manufacturers to put some of this technology into the phone, also give access to developers as well. Yeah, we're mainly concentrating on uh, on the OEMs to, to really get some fantastic devices out there. And there's been a lot of uh, cool devices. If you look at the, the best devices with imaging capabilities that have been launched on the show, there is some Scalado behind them. High dynamic range imaging, for example, and, and so forth and so forth. Uh, so, so we're really making it possible to, to create the best devices out there. Great. Well, I look forward to more. Thank you for joining us thanks. today. Yeah, thanks for coming.